Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to break down Benzinga Pro's newsfeed. Going to show you how you can find news really fast. So just going to add the newsfeed for this example and create the workspace. This is Benzinga Pro. I'm going to change the sources to, uh, I want to add the partner links and the SEC filings as well. So I have uh, four total on here. Hit done. Then I'm going to go to the scanner. And the scanner is really important. I want to make sure that the, uh, we'll type in the volume is we want to make sure that we're trading with high volume so we can change the pre-market volume or the uh, total volume. But what I'm going to change here is actually the five minute volume. I'll click this on and go to custom. And let's go to for the minimum, we'll set this to 20,000 shares. So we want to see this, uh, fix this here and 20,000 shares, there we go. And so we want to see only articles with a minimum of 20,000 shares in the last five minutes. Now, uh, that is just ensuring that we have some volume, maybe not a lot of volume yet, but some volume, and that's okay. We want to catch it early. That way we can make our plan from there. Uh, another thing that I like to add is going to be the float size, share float, customize this as well, and put a maximum of whatever you prefer. I'm going to put 50 million for 50 million share float. And then I'm going to, uh, let's see, go to, and you can change this as, as just an example, uh, but this is something that I like to do. So now I'll go to the price uh, and add this filter as well. And a minimum of 75, we'll go to 70 cents, and a maximum of $25. So this is a wide range, can really limit this to the stocks that you're trading and the price range that you're trading. I think most of us know the price range that we love to trade, so you can really narrow down your results if you just change this around a little bit. I prefer to trade stocks over $2. However, I will trade stocks over a dollar uh, but I want to know about those stocks before they approach that dollar. Sometimes we have stocks that are a little bit cheaper that are approaching a dollar that I may take trades on. But, uh, of course, we'll mitigate the risk by taking a smaller size. Uh, but $0.70, cents, $25, that's going to be my range. And can go ahead and hit done. And no results are found. And the reason no results are found is because we're in the off hours right now. It is 8.13 p.m. Eastern time. So the market is closed. And because of that, we're not seeing any volume in the last five minutes. And because we don't have any volume in the last five minutes, we're not going to have any results. So if I go back to the scanner, and I turn that uh, off, the volume in five minutes, I'll turn that off and hit done. You'll see we now have results on this list. So for me, during the market hours, I want to make sure that the news that I'm trading uh, or, or stock that I'm trading has news but also has volume. So that's a great way of doing that. So just go back to the scanner, hit VOL for volume. And again, we're looking for the five minute volume. Click this on, customize, and we wanna to go to a minimum of uh, 20,000, just like that. And uh, one thing I wanna to add to this is actually the change as well. So the change from the previous close is what we're looking for right here. Click that on, customize this, and I wanna see stocks that are gapping up at least, uh, say 2%, and hit okay, hit done. So that's it. So of course, we're not seeing anything right now. Again, if I remove that volume filter, this volume in the five minute, just these four filters is all I have on uh, on this scan here. If I remove this volume filter, you will see results on the list. And you're going to see most of them are green on the side. And the reason that they are green is because we set the change filter as well, change from the previous close. So really simple, guys. And I'll add the volume on here again. Don't want to forget that. Typically, I'm looking for volume to uh, to trade with. So I'll, again, come in here and change this to 20K for 20,000. And hit done. We have no results, and you guys know exactly why. And that's it. That's It's that simple. Now, the sources that I'm uh, using, Penzing and Wire, the partner links, press releases, and uh, the SEC filings. And for the scanner, I do have this. The importance, uh, I don't really use this much. I just leave it on low. Uh, but the scanner, I do have some filters set on here. And you can add more filters, but sometimes I've found in my experience that less is more. So just by having that, I can now filter it. One thing I love to have as well is I do have scans from trade ideas that I use each day uh, to find these uh, these uh, stocks that are moving very quickly. So one thing that I like to add to this layout is going to be a uh, details page. So if I click this, I can uh, click this right here and 
I believe I can just click it there. There we go. Yeah. And now we have uh, a details page on the right hand side. So I'll keep it similar to this here, but oftentimes I'll have it set to the news. And the reason for it is uh, I'm just looking for news here on Benzinga. So I'm not looking for the stock scans or, or whatever it may be. I'm just looking for news with this layout. And so what I'm doing is on the right hand side, if something pops on one of my scanners, like say PRZO or whatever it may be, I can come in here and I can type in PRZO. So if I don't see anything in the news feed yet, maybe there is something it just doesn't have much volume or maybe there's something that's you know uh, making it so it's not showing up on this list on the left you can type it on the right so if you're hearing it hit your scanners just type it on the right hand side you can verify yes it has news or no it doesn't have news and you can quickly do that with uh, with this layout so really simple guys I will uh, add some uh, tips in the description below. And if you found any value from this video, consider giving it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow traders, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys. If you made it to the end of this tutorial, you're a true legend. Make sure to like and subscribe for more educational content just like this. Visit bullishboblive.com to join our community today.